Mastering punctuation in complex sentences. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to talk about an essential part of English grammar, subordinating conjunctions and how they help in forming complex sentences. Moreover, we will dive deep into the punctuation rules for these types of sentences. By the end of this video, you'll be confident in forming and punctuating complex sentences correctly. First, let's remind ourselves what a complex sentence is. A complex sentence is a sentence that contains one independent clause and at least one dependent clause. An independent clause is a complete thought that can stand alone, whereas a dependent clause is not a complete sentence and cannot stand on its own. The connector between these clauses is often a subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions are words like, although, if, since, when, because, etc. They show the relationship between the independent and dependent clause, like time, cause and effect, or contrast. Example, although it was raining, she went for a walk. Here, although it was raining, is the dependent clause, and, she went for a walk, is the independent clause. The subordinating conjunction, although, connects these clauses together. Now that we understand complex sentences and subordinating conjunctions, let's dive into the punctuation rules. When the dependent clause comes first, we separate the two clauses with a comma. Example. Because it was sunny, we decided to go to the beach. In this sentence, the dependent clause, because it was sunny, comes before the independent clause. Therefore, we place a comma after the dependent clause. However, if the independent clause comes first, we usually do not use a comma. Example, we decided to go to the beach because it was sunny. Here. The independent clause, we decided to go to the beach, comes first, so we don't need to use a comma. Congratulations! You've now mastered the art of punctuating complex sentences with subordinating conjunctions. By understanding these rules, you will not only improve your writing but also enhance your reading comprehension skills. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing these rules in your English writing. Until next time, keep learning, keep practicing, and keep improving your English skills.